everyone, it's Mrs. Greenwald here, and I've got Josie and Jessie. <laughs> so we are going to uh, make some Play-Doh today and show you how to make some Play-Doh that you could probably make at home with stuff that you already have in your cupboards. All you need are some marshmallows, some coconut oil, some cornstarch, and some of uh, these full colorings, red and blue and green and yellow. Okay. You also need a microwave safe dish and a microwave. So, very simple. We're going to start with some marshmallows. You need about um, six of these. I'm using some old yucky ones that probably won't be any good for uh, s'mores this summer because they're all stuck together. So we need six of them. Can you help me go? One, two, three, four, how many? Five, okay. six. All right, you're six. Five. <laughs> I think you lost track. We also want to put two teaspoons of coconut oil. You can use any kind of oil. It doesn't have to be coconut oil, but I've got some already measured out here. Okay, put it right in the bowl with it. You also need three tablespoons of cornstarch. Can you put that in for me, please? Yeah. This is cornstarch. <laughs> When you pour, try not to pour too high over the bowl, otherwise you make a big old mess. Oh. <laughs> All right, Josie, what color do you want to make your Play-Doh today? So, red and blue and green and yellow. Which one do you want to pick? Well, I want red. Okay. Here's our red food coloring. That we're gonna get out. So right. the first batch that I made that Jesse is playing with right now, um, I used just a few drops and it made a pretty bright color. So it depends on how bright you want it to go. Um, but I'm just gonna put a few drops, kind of some generous squeezes there. Of course, the more that you use, the brighter it's gonna be. And the next thing we need to do is we need to put it all in the microwave. Okay, so okay. you're gonna come with me. Oh, excuse you. I got another chair back there. Mama put another chair yep. back there so I can stand up. <laughs> this is the chair too. <laughs> okay. So, get your spot. We're gonna put this in the microwave for about 30 to 40 seconds. I did it for about 40 last time and it seemed to be just perfect. What you want though is for your marshmallows to puff up. Okay, let's press four, zero, start. Okay. So we're waiting for the marshmallows to puff right up. That means they're warm enough that they can mix. Yep, I hear them puffing, guys. cleaned my microwave earlier today and I must have gotten the tray on the wrong spot. It's making a lot of noises. Okay, see how they've puffed up quite a bit? That means that they're warm enough that we could probably mix them up. Now very carefully pull them out of the microwave. You might want to get an adult for this. Okay, can you close the microwave, Joss? Yeah. Okay, back to our mixing area. So we're going to mix it in as best as we can with our spoon. You're going to find it's very, very sticky. might be kind of tricky to mix at first, but eventually it's all going to mix it together enough and cool off enough that you can start mixing it with your fingers. Do we have to pull our sleeves out? I think that would be a great idea. You also want to make sure that you're working with clean hands, especially if you're planning on tasting this Play-Doh. 
it's going to be very sticky at first, but the cornstarch kind of gives it that texture that's not so sticky and allows it to be soft and pliable. Okay. And this is just a gray wall too, and this is just a gray wall. We are we are the three green walls that are up here, but Daddy Green Wall's downstairs working in his office. <laughs> Thanks for the update. Good job. Okay, it's still pretty um, pretty warm, so I think I'm going to do this part. You may want to consider um, waiting until it's cooled down a little bit, maybe even. Toss it in your microwave for a couple of sec, or your, excuse me, your refrigerator for a couple of seconds. But it's still pretty warm. I'm gonna use my fingers a little bit to just kind of squish it all in. You can see the consistency of it right now is just kind of a messy blob. The more you work it, the more you're gonna I work feel in that. A little bit warm. Hot. <laughs> It's pretty good. All right. It's What's pretty it good, like? Mom. What's That's it taste like? Strawberry, maybe. Strawberries? Hmm. Yeah, and cherries. Whoa. I was thinking more like maybe marshmallow and coconut. Don't cry. Don't cry. No, he's not crying. He's laughing. Now he's crying. No, no, no. No. No, no, no. So you'll notice there's lots of uh, oil on my hands. Once you get it to a certain kind of consistency, what you can do is wash your hands to get the oil off of them and then go back at it with some clean, dry hands um, to really mix in those ingredients. Now, if you're finding that it's still kind of sticky, what you can do um, is add more cornstarch. The cornstarch will give it more of like a silky, play-doughy texture to it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to really quickly set this down. I'm going to go wash my hands off really quickly. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I think. Well, you don't touch it, so you don't have to. I'm going to get the oil in my hands, and then we're going to uh, go back to, to mixing it. Right, mommy, because Doug, stay curious. Okay, so I have clean, dry hands. Now I'm going to start adding a little bit of cornstarch and adding it to my dough. So Josie, you can start kind of mixing this together. Play with it like Play-Doh. I'm going to start mixing it together. In there. Yeah, with your hands, yeah. Get in there, kind of squish it together. to it. The only thing I did notice is that after some time it does harden back up. All you have to do is throw it back in the microwave for a couple of minutes or a couple of seconds and it um, should get it to a doughy texture again. The best part about this dough is you can make it. I'd love to hear if anybody tries this in the comments. And we miss you. And I hope to see you soon. But in the meantime, stay safe and stay curious. Bye. Bye.